Today, we're gonna to be designing my dream tiny house in Blender. Previously, we've designed my dream office, dream bedroom, dream living room, and dream kitchen. And as you can see by these pictures, I'm getting a lot better every time we do this. So I'm very excited to be designing my dream tiny house today. I'm wanting to incorporate a bunch of these designs we've done for the other rooms today in this dream tiny house. So as per usual, I don't have a plan for this. I think we just jump straight into Blender. But we are starting out with that starting cube today and I'm just trying to work out what type of house I'm wanting to make, what the layout's going to be and really just the floor plan. So I do this a couple of times because I'm not really good with floor plans even though I used to play The Sims a lot. Um, but here we are, this is kind of the style we're going with and I love a round window so we've added in another round window and some really big windows as well because I love natural light. Here I am just going in to do the window framing so they don't look funny. And we're going in to do the couch and I want it to be really rounded like lots of different eggs stuck together um, with some really nice squishy looking cushions. I just thought that was the vibe for this one. Here I am trying my best to do cushions but I just honestly could not work it out for the life of me. So I just used a square, added a subdivision modifier to it and then just added some more vertices in there and we've got a couch. I'm just adding in a subdivision wall there and then going in to make the little coffee table which looks very cute. Here I am doing the beaming because I just think it looks so much more aesthetically pleasing if it has beams because those beams look at them they look so good Here I am going to make the 70s styled fireplace and honestly I'm trying my best to model this but I think it looks really good. Putting that next to that wall and then doing a little chimney up so that the smoke can actually leave. Adding in a bit more to that subdivision wall so that there's room between the lounge and the bedroom. Going in to do a little rug. And then now I'm just going in to do the flooring, which is something I always seem to forget about until like the last moment, but I didn't forget about it this time, really. Here I am going in to do the lights, and I love doing this style of lighting. Um, and then I quickly went in to do the bed and sort out the little bedroom. Also, I did a skylight above the bed because it's my dream to have a skylight above my bed so I can watch the stars all night. Here I am going in to do the kitchen. Um, it's kind of stressful watching this back now because when I was doing it, like the other videos was just one room, but this is like everything. So I'm like doing the kitchen, I'm doing the lounge, I'm doing the bedroom, uh, but here I am doing the sink and I really like the sink, a nice big sink. And here is my tap. Look at that, a nice rounded tap. Going in to do the other bench as well and adding in the little fridge, which is just a cube. Also putting in the oven, uh, which is also just a standard cube and then going in to do curtains because I find curtains really make the room feel like a room. Just using the array modifier there and then adding in a curtain rail so they have something to sit on. Duplicating some lights around and then now I'm going in to make the oven and the stove and I have done this before so I kind of knew how I wanted to do it. Here I am making some like little fairy lights in the bedroom so I'm just using a curve there and I'm just manipulating it as much as I can. Going in to add some little circles around which I'm going to put an emission on so that they glow. Here I am doing the fridge and I have done a fridge before and it was very stressful. Um, so this time it's a little bit different but still that like smeg style. Just putting in some shelves here so that I can put some clutter everywhere. And then going in to add a little bedside table. I really like this one with like the four feet and then just like the little table part on top. Now I'm just going in to add a dresser in. Just trying to work out where in the room that I actually want to put this dresser. Like I want it here, does it want to like come out of the wall? And then I'm adding in some little handles for it. Then I decided maybe I just make a whole room for the closet, you know? Why not? Um, also if you're watching this and you're thinking where's the bathroom, I didn't do a bathroom. It's just like the main elements of the house. I just, I didn't know where to put it. That would make sense that you could actually like see in a nice metric way. So I'm very sorry if you're upset that there's no bathroom, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do a bathroom. Here I am trying to make a curvy mirror, but I just, I'm not good with curves. So we're just going in with a normal styled mirror. Just placing that round and then doing a little rug under the bed as well. Moving the roof around so that it makes more sense. And then putting some clutter everywhere from my asset library. I love those little frogs. I bring them into like every video, adding in some of my animal costumes little guys as well and then doing my mushroom lamps because I love mushroom lamps so adding in a few of them and this is like a different style of mushroom lamp but oh I love it it's so cool here I'm going to make some cushions and I made some cushions in like the last dream video so I know how to make them this time and then I'm also making some like little puffs to put around the floor here I am going in to texturize everything and give it its colors going in with some nice green wood using a noise texture there to get that grain look and then going in to make like a purple metallic fireplace because why not. 
Here I am going to make like a duck egg colored couch because I like duck egg colored. And then just, yeah, giving everything their textures. Here I am going in to make a pot plant because I decided we needed some plants to make just to add some greenery to everything. So here I am going in to make a leaf and I've done this technique quite a few times now. Use the array modifier on it and I pull it down its axis so that then it's just a plant and it happens so quickly and it's like magic. Um, but I really love how this little plant turned out. Then I went in to do another little plant and I was going to make it like a vine going over the wall but it just started frustrating me so I was like okay I'm just going to do a simple plant and I did and it's quite like pointy but I, I like it I think it's cute and then I just place it there on the dresser go in and just add a little bit more clutter texturize all those little plants and at one point I did add an outside bit as well. Um, I don't know when that happened, but uh, I did it. So now I'm giving it a bit of a roof. So uh, there is some shelter from the rain. All right, let me now show you what this looks like rendered. Wow! I'm so, 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 so impressed with how this turned out. I had so much fun making it. I think it took me about six hours to like build this whole thing. I definitely think I could have added in more clutter, but by the end I was tired. So yeah, but I had lots of fun. I think it looks really good. I did leave out the bathroom. Let me know if you want me to do a dream bathroom in 3D, but I just didn't know where to put it in this house. But I'm really happy with the outcome. I love the little frogs and I love the little patio outside and it just, and the round window, everything is just perfect. So I'm so happy with the outcome. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will now see you in the next video.